Hello everyone, I'm Jamie Wozni. Welcome to my channel. I serve those who are ready, those magical souls who are ready to activate their divine fullness and express that part of them, themselves out into the world. So thank you for being here. I am going to share today one of my favorite topics, the quantum magical power of your intention. What is that? Why is it so serving? I remember hearing the distinction between wanting and intending. When we want something, it's a signal to the universe that says there is lack, I don't have it yet. So when we're needy, when we're longing, when we're wanting, it signifies we're not whole and complete. I don't have this thing and I have to have this thing to fill in this hole. It's subtle, right? But on this channel, we're all about the subtleties. So intention says I'm whole and complete already. I am one with the quantum field of life. I have the power of God within me. I am co-creating with the universe and I am setting my intention here. What we know about energy is that where our intention, our energy, our focus goes, where our focus goes, our energy flows. So I am intending to create a vacation house in so-and-so. I am intending to create a successful business. I am intending to be with my soulmate partner. We can carry such that's not possible. I'm not worthy and deserving of that doubt, shame, fear that we don't even dare say I intend this. Right. And that happens to me too. I'm writing down my intentions and then my brain's like, Pfft. but I know how powerful we are. And I know to not listen to the programs of the mind. So I invite you to write down some intentions today when you're, when you are embarking on a new client call or whatever it is for you or a new YouTube channel or a new friendship. I always, before I go, even a, a trip I was just recently on, I intend this to be peaceful. I intend it to be filled with joy. I intend whatever it is, because we set that intention in the quantum field and whatever needs to come up within us to be loved, whatever is between us and our intention manifesting will come up, right? Whatever guidance we need, whatever wisdom we need to pop into our mind to take us there. We have to let go of timing it. And we have to let go of the how. Our devotion to the intention, right? I'm choosing this, I'm devoting to this, our devotion to the type of life we wanna live, I'm devoting to living as a light worker, a magical being, in my authentic truth, right? And then this is my intention. In manifestation, what happens, and we think we're doing it wrong, because we're like, I intend this, I intend healing. Right? Or I intend to have a million dollars. Well, the shame and pain and all the stuff that we don't want to feel between us and the million dollars will arise. It's not arising because we're in the wrong direction or because we're broken. It's energy that's there. It's energy that needs to move. So when we move towards our intention, oop, the sadness is going to come up. And in, in the next video, what I'm going to share with you is what do we do with that? So we set the intention, stuff comes up. We're like, this is not what I thought fun was. <laughs> in the meantime, we'll go deeper in the video, but we need it. We allow that energy to be seen by us. We allow ourselves to experience it and move through it, knowing that the energy that's coming up between us and our intention is there for us to love it and meet it with unconditional love so that it can move through so that we can hear our intuition better so that the clarity of that next step or that synchronicity or that nudge to go in whatever direction we go in so play with this i used it took me years i've been in this spiritual community for a long time it took me years because i was like this is stupid what i have a thought in my head it's stupid we think it's stupid if we don't know our power and we don't know that we're energy and we don't know that we're connected and that we don't know that when we focus in a direction the universe starts moving according. We're like focusing there and the universe goes, oh, okay, cool. Let's orchestrate and move. And then 
all these belief systems in the way of her having this or him having this. Let's clear those. So hold, ground, devote, boom. This will be so. And then watch everything align accordingly. And then notice the fears and the beliefs that come up in the way of your intention. Right? And then I have many videos about how we can clear those fears. There's lots to do with that. So what are your intentions? I invite you to share them here. Um, something that you think is not possible, I invite you to grab a magic wand, go miraculous, listen to the doubt. Hey, Debbie Doubter, what's up? Hey, uh, uh, Irene Impossible, how's it going, girl? Just gonna breathe through it. And I'm gonna set my intentions and watch the magic of the universe unfold because yes, I am that powerful. And yes, I am that loved. So if you like this video and it served you, I invite you to like, subscribe, and share it with any friends that it could serve so we can spread more light into the world. Comment, ask me questions, um, and hopefully I will see you guys in another video. Thank you for being here. Have a beautiful day. So if what I shared with you today about the power of your intention resonates with you, then I invite you to go deeper in my course liberate your sacred light it's an at home video go at your own pace course for light workers who want to feel safe feeling seen as a light worker and so this course builds on the power of your intention and gives you other tools other clearings other healings to align you with liberating your own spiritual gifts your own magic your own potential out into the world so if that calls to you check out liberate your sacred light and my many other offerings below <laughs>